guys, so today I'm doing an updated hair care routine because it's been really requested lately. So I'm just going to jump in and show you the products that I use, how often I use them and things like that. So I wash my hair every third night and I find that works pretty well for me at the moment. I used to wash it every second night um, but I've managed to push it back to every third night. The less you wash your hair the better for it really. Um, I know if you wash it on a more regular basis your hair gets greasier a lot quicker so you feel like you need to wash and it's kind of one of those catch-22 situations, a never-ending circle. The more you wash it the more you need to wash it but if you can try to prolong um, prolong your hair between washing then um, you'll find it will be a lot healthier for it. So, like I said, I wash my hair every third night, but the morning of the um, day when I'm going to be washing it, I find sometimes it's just a little bit too greasy. Um, nothing too bad, and if I was maybe just hanging out at home, or even just had to like pop to the shop to grab a couple of bits, I could put up with my hair like that and leave it as it was, maybe just chuck it up in a ponytail or something like that. But if I'm going to work or something, I like to be a little bit more put together, I guess. So. I will use a dry shampoo that morning and you guys know what my favourite dry shampoo is by now, it's the Batiste dry shampoo for um, medium and brunette hair. This is what I like to use and if you want to know how I use dry shampoo, how to use it and all that sort of thing, I have done a video on that which I will link in the information box below in case you want to go check that out. But basically I just spritz this um, kind of in the roots of my hair and just kind of lift up sections and spray it in and then just kind of massage it in, comb it out and I'm good to go. So that's what I do on those days and then when it comes to actually washing my hair, the um, shampoo and conditioner that I've been using at the moment is the Joyco Body Luxe, um, which is a thickening shampoo. And I've tried Joyco um, products before, I use the... Um, K-Pack Reconstruct shampoo and conditioner before and it was okay but I wasn't overly impressed with it and I thought um, I can get similar results with um, shampoos and conditioners from the drugstore, I didn't need to pay that much money. But I actually picked up this range in my local TK Maxx and it was a set, I got the shampoo and the conditioner and a little mini Joico K-Pack, I think it might have been... Um, treatment, like leave-in treatment product, I got the whole set for £12, which was a bargain, and what sucked me into this was the fact, the fact that it says it's a thickening shampoo. I know a lot of hair care brands have um, volumizing ranges, but I don't see too many that are thickening, so that is what really sucked me in, because I was looking at getting the Neoxin um, shampoos and conditioners, because they're formulated for people that are losing their hair, and my hair isn't terrible, but it does fall out quite a lot. Um, whether I just um, run my fingers through my hair or when I comb it or w especially when I'm washing my hair there's a lot of hair I know it sounds gross there's a lot of hair left kind of in the drain of the shower after I've finished um, just from hair that's come out whilst I've been showering so um, I was looking into maybe trying those out but I was kind of doing my research and looking up reviews and stuff and I saw that quite a lot of people had had negative effects. So, um, in some cases it had actually made their hair fall out even more, it had severely damaged their hair. There were some cases of even um, medical um, side effects. I can't remember exactly what they were, I feel like headaches and things like that people experienced. So I thought that's kind of a bit too much of a risk for me to kind of pay that much money to try something out which may or may not work. It may make my problem worse or it may give me kind of medical side effects. So. When I saw the Joyco one in TK Maxx, I thought, this is perfect, it says it's thickening, um, so I will give this a try, and it was so cheap as well, so I thought, you know, I haven't really got much to lose. So, I've been trying this out for the past couple of weeks now, and I really, really like it. Um, I'm not sure if it's really going to have any kind of long-lasting effects, but I feel like my hair is thicker since using it, and my hair feels in really nice condition, it feels really soft and silky, and it just feels healthier. So... That is my shampoo and conditioner that I use and I just, you know, it's the typical leather up the shampoo and I like to keep it just on my roots. I don't like to put it through the ends of my hair. The ends of your hair actually don't need to be shampooed. Um, when you shampoo your scalp and the roots of your hair and everything and then you rinse it out, the shampoo rinsing through the ends of your hair is enough, is enough to clean them. So you don't really want to be piling all this up on the top of your head and scrubbing it about because that is going to cause more damage to your hair. Your hair is obviously weaker when it's wet and is more prone to breaking and things like that and stretching. So I just shampoo the kind of head of my hair, the roots and the scalp and everything, get that really well worked in there and then rinse it out and that will rinse through the ends and clean those as well. And then I apply my conditioner 
and I apply that kind of from sort of my ears down, focusing it on the ends, and then once I've done that, whatever I have left on my hands, I just take that through the top of my head, and I don't apply too much, and that doesn't leave my hair looking greasy or weighing it down or anything like that. It just kind of adds a bit of conditioner up here because my hair, like I said, is damaged, and I kind of have these kind of frizzy dry ends up here of where my hair's broken off that I'm trying to nourish and grow longer and stuff. So I like to condition this area just a little bit just to help it out. And then whilst that's all sat in my hair and soaking in and doing its job, I'll you know go about the rest of my shower routine, wash my face, body, anything else that I need to do, and then I will rinse all of that off. Then I get out of the shower, wrap my hair up in a towel on the top of my head, and I leave that to kind of soak up any of the excess water whilst I put on moisturiser and body lotion and stuff like that, get ready for bed. I probably leave my towel on for at least five minutes, sometimes it's longer, sometimes I'll sort of call Ben in the meantime and chat to him for half an hour or something like that, but usually it's about five to ten minutes and then I take it out and I just comb through my hair with a wide tooth comb. I never brush my hair anymore, I always just use a wide tooth comb, whether it's just brushing my through my hair like this, or especially when it's wet you want to use a wide tooth comb because it's going to be a lot gentler on your hair and not pull and tug on it as much. So I comb through my hair and then I apply my macadamia natural oil healing oil treatment, which is one of those kind of like Moroccan oil treatments, this is the macadamia nut oil treatment, and I do probably between a quarter and half a pump into my hands, you really don't need very much of this at all, and I just kind of rub my hands together to spread it evenly over them, and then I again focus it from sort of ears down, really focusing it on the ends, and then whatever I happen to have left, I'll just gently run it through the top of my hair, just to again condition that and help nourish that area as well. And I just leave that in, um, start like part my hair, and then I go to bed. I let my hair air dry overnight, I don't like to blow dry it if I can help it, um, just because I think that's unnecessary heat that I'm putting on my hair and my hair, like I keep saying, is very damaged. I'm trying my best to nourish it and get it healthy. I would really like hair, my hair to be longer, so obviously I want to get it in as best condition as I can. So that's kind of my hair cleansing routine. And then when I wake up the following morning, I usually wear my hair straight, which obviously I'm not today. I washed my hair last night actually, and when I woke up this morning, it had this really nice like waves and texture to it, so I just kind of added in a few extra curls with my straighteners, and I thought that looks quite good. So I didn't straighten it this morning, but typically most days I will straighten my hair. So what I tend to do is again, I will comb through it with my wide tooth comb, and then I will spritz in some heat protectant. The one I use is the Got To Be Guardian Angel, um, 220 degrees Celsius heat protection. This is for blow drying and flat ironing. So I spritz this throughout my hair and then I use my GHDs which are the um, Scarlet limited edition ones from a couple of Christmases ago. I use my GHDs to straighten my hair and these work really really great. Um, I actually have a video on how I straighten my hair so if you want to see that again I will leave that linked in the information box below. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it, and then sometimes if my hair's a little bit frizzy after doing that, I take just the tiniest little bit of the macadamia healing oil, um, like honestly the tiniest little bit, not even a pump, I kind of just, when you pump this down, it kind of goes a little way before you can kind of really pump it, and I just kind of push it very gently a couple of times, and the tiniest bit of oil will come out, and that's all I use, that's all I need just to kind of smooth over my hair, and make it shiny and silky and everything smoothed down and kind of tame any frizz or flyaways or anything like that. So that's kind of my basic hair routine and then for treatment products I use either the Redken All Soft Velvet Whip Leave-In Treatment or the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap Treatment. One of these two, this one adds moisture, this one adds protein so I'll kind of alternate them and I will apply one of these two once maybe every couple of weeks. Um, and I use that obviously after I've washed my hair and towel dried it, I will apply a little bit of that, about a pump to a pump and a half from my ears down, focusing on the ends and then whatever's left taking it through kind of the top sort of my hair and I will still apply my macadamia healing oil after that as well just to add extra nourishment. So like I said I do that probably once every couple of weeks and then usually once a month I try to do a deep conditioning treatment so what I like to use for that is the Redken all soft heavy cream which is a really thick nourishing moisturizing cream and typically on days when I deep condition my hair I will shampoo my hair with a really clarifying shampoo I think the one I've got is from 
herbal essences, um, but just any kind of whatever cheapy clarifying shampoo I can find, I'm not really too fussed. It's just to really clear your hair of any kind of build up or anything like that. Get it really, really clean. And then I apply this to towel dried hair because it says it's best to apply it to towel dried hair. And the directions actually say to just leave it on for five minutes. But what I like to do is clip my hair up on top of my head, put a shower cap on, which looks super attractive, and then I will run myself a nice lush bath and maybe do a face mask as well and just kind of relax and watch YouTube videos for about half an hour and then kind of go about my rest, the rest of my routine, like washing my face, my body, anything else. And then at the end, I'll just hop under the shower and rinse it all out. And I like to do that, like I say, about once a month. I don't always do it once a month. Sometimes I extend it a little bit longer if I haven't got the time to take that long bath. But I do like to kind of do all of that all in one because it's just a really nice pampering, luxurious evening. So that was my entire hair care routine. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I'm really loving all of the products that I'm using at the moment. I think they're working really well for me and my hair feels in pretty good condition. I mean, it's still not fantastic, but it's getting there, and I think that is down to these products. So I definitely recommend all of them. If you're interested in checking any of them out, I definitely recommend it. I think a couple of them were in my previous hair care routine, so I'll leave that link below in case you want to check that out and see um, if I said anything different about them then. I don't think I did, but just in case you want to check that out, I will leave that link below as well. Oh, and in case you've caught sight of my nails and you're interested to know how I got this manicure, I will be having a video go up on Wednesday about these, so stay tuned for that if you're interested in that. And don't forget to enter my giveaway as well if you haven't already, there's a week left to enter, so if you haven't already and you want to be in with the chance to win a couple of goodies from Lush and Soap and Glory, then definitely go and check out that video, I'll leave that link below as well, so you can go and enter that. It's just a little giveaway to say thank you to all my lovely subscribers. So yeah, I think that was everything that I wanted to tell you guys and mention and everything. So I hope you're having a great weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.